My name is Bola Fakwadi. I'm the International Internship Coordinator at the University of Alberta. One of the programs that I coordinate is the University of Alberta Research Experience Program. So we have, for the first time this year, the UR Canada. This allows students, Canadian students or permanent residents of Canada studying within Canada or outside Canada to also take part in the re research opportunities here at the U of A. And this year we had about 23 students that have been hosted in various faculties and departments. And the program is really a fascinating and great opportunity for senior undergraduate students to participate in. Hi there, um, my name is Erica McKenzie. I'm here at the University of Alberta because of the UARE program. Um, I'm coming from McGill University in Montreal. Hi, I'm Danielle Peters. I'm from the lab of Dr. Jonathan Bennett um, with the Biological Sciences program. My name is uh, Eric Scott and I am a fourth year mechanical engineering and management student from McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario. Um, over the summer I've been working in the uh, Division of Neurology. I'm working on a rare neurological disorder called hereditary spastic paraplegia. Um, and this disorder causes patients to have uh, lower limb spasticity and weakness. What we're hoping to find in this study is a better understanding of the symptoms and signs people have who have this disease and also the genetic correlations. So this involves exome sequencing and genetic diagnosis. Um, and the goal with this is to find better therapeutic options for people who have this rare disease, because rare diseases often are neglected in terms of therapeutics and research. Okay, so as you can see from the title of my poster, I was working on structural health monitoring, which is having to do with detecting uh, certain failures in structures that can send information to end users' PC and cell phones. And this is funded by Imperial Oil, one of the major oil companies in Canada and uh, this has far-reaching implications in terms of environmental damage and uh, financial uh, costs to companies. Um, I've had a really amazing experience working in neurology. It's been great to get to work with patients and work with neurologists and participate in the different learning opportunities here at the U of A in medicine. Um, it's been amazing to see the difference um, we can make for patients. So I heard about the URA program through um, actually the Dr. Jonathan Dennis. I applied to become a master's student and he told me about the URA program and wanted me to apply as it would be a good segue for me to start my master's in the lab. So I really enjoyed the opportunity to come here and kind of get situated within Edmonton and get to know the lab a little bit before I started my master's. So I think the University of Alberta is a beautiful campus and they have uh, beautiful facilities here. Uh, the professors are from whom I've met, very friendly, and the students are all uh, also very friendly. Um, Univ University of Alberta has a, uh, like I said before, it has a great reputation uh, amongst Canadian universities. And um, what I mo most enjoyed about coming here was the opportunity to travel and to go to close areas such as Jasper and Banff, which is also very nice to see the Rockies. Um, I really enjoy the campus for the University of Alberta. It's beautiful and plus the facilities are top notch. Um, I feel very honored to work in the lab that I'm working in, in the Centennial Center for Interdisciplinary Sciences. The U of A is a beautiful campus. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Um, I would definitely recommend the UARE program because there's so many different research opportunities people can get involved in. Um, there's a lot of world-class research going on at the U of A and I've had a great experience.